Oh my gosh, guys. This is like the fifth attempt of filming this. So, <laughs> don't know what's going on today, but I'm being cursed. Um, first, the uh, battery was flashing. Then the boys would nap. Then I literally just got them to sleep and someone rang the doorbell and it woke Henry up. So, fingers crossed, we're okay now. And I'm gonna get a bit of peace and quiet just to sit and talk to you all. So I'm doing a little sit down video today. I hope that you guys don't mind these. I never know if people prefer the sort of day in the life or these sit down videos or a mix. So I hope a mix because um, there's not much going on in my life every day other than looking after the boys. So this makes a little bit of a change, but I really wanted to speak to you all about the transition from breast milk to formula because I'm kind of just, I think, finished that little transition there. Um, I'm on to one breastfeeding session a day which is like the 10 p.m session and i'm looking at dropping that soon so it's been a full-on like six seven weeks that i've been doing this transition so i don't know maybe that's long maybe that's short but it's felt like i thought it would be quicker than that it's felt like quite a long time but um slow and steady as they say and i've just done it as i felt appropriate with the boys and how they adjusted to it um, so yeah, I'm also going to talk about, as well as breast milk to formula milk, I did want to speak about breast to bottle as well because some people may be expressing and that's a challenge in itself, trying to get your baby to stop breastfeeding and drink from a bottle. So I want to touch base on both of those things. Um, and I'll also be talking about how I picked a bottle, how I picked a formula, um, some of the challenges we had and some of the pros and cons with it all basically. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you like the change of scenery. I thought I'd sit here today as Alid is at work so it gets some peace and quiet. It is very hard to film with him because he is all day on phone calls and he's so bloody loud. Is it just me or are men so loud? Like he, can, he says he cannot whisper. And I remember my brother saying this when I was growing up and I was like, that is not something you can or cannot do. Surely everyone is born with the ability to whisper. So I can film upstairs and he'll be talking down here on the phone and I can still hear him in the background of my videos. So yeah, it's nice to get this in and a bit of peace and quiet. But yeah, I hope you all enjoy this video and I hope it helps some people. If you feel this is something that you're ready to do and you're not quite sure how to go about it, I did a bit of research and I couldn't find that much online sort of talking about a transition. There was lots of tips about how to get your baby to drink from a bottle, but not really how to transition from breast milk to formula. So yeah, I got a lot of tips from my sister-in-laws. They both had babies last year, so they're about a year older than Henry and Jack. So they'd just been through it and they gave me the best advice. Um, but yeah, it's a common thing, I think, this transition. I mean, most mums probably do it if they don't breastfeed for a whole year. Uh, I guess some people feed for longer than that as well. But some of the common reasons that you may be looking to transition are you're going back to work, it's a big one. Um, perhaps you started off breastfeeding and you're just finding it very, very difficult or you're not enjoying it. And perhaps you want to get your partner more involved to help you. So yeah, there's some of the reasons, but let's get started. Oh, also one thing before I start, I did just want to touch base on talking about fed is best because um, obviously I'm talking about transitioning from breast milk here. You're not always going to have started off with breast milk. And I just want to make it clear that I don't by any means have a preference. I wanted to breastfeed purely for the benefits that they talk about from the milk and I never dreamt that I would manage this long actually so I'm pleased about that but I also wouldn't have had any problems from feeding my children a formula from the beginning just whatever was possible for me and easiest for me um, so that I could be the best mum that I could to the boys. I know I've mentioned this fed is best before on one of my other videos but I still feel like there's a little stigma about all this and I just wanted to clear up um, my views on everything and by no means should any mum feel guilt about the way they choose or the way they decide to feed their baby. Um, and also a note, a little note on this, it's kind of along the same lines, is perhaps you're wondering about the bond between you and your baby if you don't breastfeed. Uh, the only reason I want to bring this up is because 
maybe that's something that's uh, you're having a hard time with or wondering about whether you're going to lose that for me i did not feel like i had a bond feeding henry and jack it that was not where i found that i gained a bond with them and i am going to do a video to talk a little bit more about this because there was a moment that i had with alan and it really kind of stuck with me because he was having a bad day or something was happening and he kind of just said like that i get to feed them and I get that bond with them and he doesn't get it and I felt a bit like shot down because I don't think that I've ever felt a bond with them whilst I was feeding them to be honest it's been so hard um to enjoy that moment because it's either been painful or the boys have been upset or needing to burp or so hungry that they can't relax there's just always been an issue that I have never sat there like I assumed I would on a chair like staring at them and thinking this is amazing it was always like a job to me and I just wanted to get through it and make sure they'd eaten and make sure they were feeling good so yeah the thought of um sitting there and feeling this strong bond I I sadly don't think I really reached maybe just at the end there there were moments where I was like oh this is so sweet that that I've managed to do this with them and it's going to end but I also think there's a lot of ways that you could feel that connection by bottle feeding um, for one you could make sure that you get skin on skin with them whilst you're feeding them and you still can look into their eyes and feed them just as if you were breastfeeding so um, yeah I just wanted to, to mention that because it was something that was brought to my attention and I've heard a lot of other people saying on videos about the bond that breastfeeding creates so yeah that's just my little bit of um, experience, I guess, there with that. Let's get started. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go right back to the beginning when I had the boys. Now I knew eventually I would want to feed them with the bottle. So I did make sure I had some bottles in the house already for that. And I was also concerned that I may not find breastfeeding very easy and just want to jump straight to formula straight away. So I made sure I had a few different brands of bottles. Um, and I'd say like two or three weeks in, maybe it was a bit later than that, I can't really remember, but it's, it doesn't really matter, but um, I decided that we would try and feed them with milk from the bottle that I'd expressed, and I tried doing that at like the 7pm feed, because I wondered if they'd sleep a bit longer, and I think we also did a few trips where we went out in the car, and we decided to feed them from the car. Um, Obviously it was a huge risk because they may not have drunk anything, but I did always take the feeding pillow with me just in case. Uh, and I think this was really good that I did this from the get-go because we kind of saw how easily they would or wouldn't drink from the bottle. And we also had an experiment with different brands of bottles and found one that they both seemed to like and made less mess with the milk. Um, and just had a little bit of sort of experience of how it was going to be when we did eventually transition to the bottle. I will add that at most of these times when they were very newborn, they didn't really drink very much. I think I remember like an ounce or two being drunk at night, but um, it was it was never easy and it was quite a fuss to do, but it was probably worth it in the end just to get them familiar with it a little bit. So yeah, we did that for a couple of feeds here and there uh, on weekends, or always when I had Alid with me, um, or evenings, just if we felt up to it, or I had the milk there that I'd expressed, or some reason like that, but there was no rhyme or reason or how often we would do that. And it wasn't very much at all. I would say probably eight times in the whole five months that um, the boys were on breast milk did we try feeding them from a bottle. So going on to formula, how to pick a formula. I've watched other videos on this and a lot of people do a lot of different tests with different ones and seeing how their babies react or how their babies take it down. I'll be honest here, I just googled best formula of 2020 or 2021 and I kind of whittled it down to two and then I picked the one that I found um, best. I can't remember why, there was not really much difference there I think I looked at which was most like breast milk um, anyway I bought a pack of this and I never really thought about changing um, yes we we did encounter problems with the boys like having lots of gas or being fussy but no more than they were before when they were drinking breast milk so I never thought it may have been the formula maybe it was maybe I could have switched it and they would have had an easier time on a different brand but 
I don't think I would have known quickly and I don't think I was about to be buying loads of different brands and deciphering who liked what best or whether I'd even be able to tell if you can understand what I mean. So I did just pick one and I stuck with it and they seem to be fine, fingers crossed, for now. Oh yeah, um, that's that for picking bottles and picking formula. Definitely with the bottles, give a little experiment, maybe a little bit before you want them to drink from the bottle exclusively. And formula, go with your gut, do some research and there's so many out there so just pick a couple or pick one and see how your baby likes it. So I began this transition dead on five months. I knew that I'd kind of want to give up breastfeeding at about six months. Um, that was kind of a feeling that I had even before I had the boys if I managed to do it because I knew that I wanted to start taking care of me a little bit more and having a bit more time for me, exercising and being able to eat and not have to worry about making sure I had enough milk for the boys. Um, and that was personal reasons. And then reasons relating to them is by about four and a half, five months, it was becoming challenging. And unless I was to go back to feeding them separately, um, I was really having a hard time. So I didn't want to do that. It was gonna take up a lot more of my day. And that was most of my decision why I decided to do the transition. So I decided to start at about five months to begin a gradual change and hopefully that I would be finished around six months. We're now at like six and a half months and I haven't quite finished, but it's been um, a good six weeks of slowly getting them used to it. So how I began was I picked a feed that I felt was the most inconvenient, the one that maybe helped me out a little bit and that was sort of the middle of the day, 10, 30, 11 feed, because that way I could be out and about if I needed to be, and I could feed the boys from the car or from anywhere else that I may be. If we wanted to visit family or friends, uh, obviously we're not doing that right now, but if we were, it would have been handy to be able to go out in the morning and know that I could feed them. I would suggest not picking a time that you want them to have a good feed, because you don't know how well they're gonna to take to the bottle and the milk. So make sure you're not doing it at like the 7 p.m. when they're about to go down for bed because you don't want them to be going to bed hungry. You want them to have as much milk as possible. So that would be my only recommendation there. But obviously do what suits you, pick a feed that suits you and start from there. Um, so yes, yeah, swapping one feed out a week, that was how I planned it, would enable me to gradually decrease my supply as well and not have too much engorgement and pain and all those things. And actually that worked out really well. I'd say the first two days after each um, feed that I stopped, I would feel a bit of engorgement and then by the time that they breastfed on the next session, it would go away. So. Yeah, that was fine. I did experience a little bit there, but it soon went away. One thing I did read the other day, which I personally didn't do, but I think would be a good idea, is if you are exclusively breastfeeding and you transition onto the formula, one good idea would be to mix. Oh no, someone's woken up. Why are they not napping? Come on, find your dummy, find your dummy. Okay, fingers crossed he's gonna go back to sleep. I'm gonna keep talking because I don't know how long my battery is gonna last. It wasn't charging for long. So sorry if you can hear him in the background, but fingers crossed he's gonna go to sleep. Um, where was I? Um, yeah, so this bit of information that I heard, which I thought was really, really helpful, was if you have pumped breast milk and you have any stored, any frozen, or anything like that, you could mix, say, like 75% breast milk with a little bit of formula at the beginning and then slowly increase that so that your baby gets used to the formula instead of it being like a whole different milk to begin with. Um, and then you could do that each feed and slowly increase that and then obviously decrease the breast feeding sessions as well. It would take a lot longer, but it would probably be smoother transition for your baby. I did try and do that because I have a lot of frozen breast milk stored up in the freezer, but a lot of it is small amounts, like two ounces, three ounces, and it's a bit of a pain trying to gauge how much formula to mix with it, but I am trying to do that. Especially as we're about to relocate, I know I need to get through as much of that breast milk as I can, and obviously I want to, so. I do suggest mixing the milks, you can do that. Just make sure you follow the guidelines on the formula. Um, there is a 
required amount of water to amount of formula. So make sure you mix that separately and then combine it with the breast milk. Okay, so when we started doing this, I just wanna to touch base on some of the challenges that we faced. I think the first day that we gave them a bottle, obviously I always had Alid here to help me. That was one of the reasons that I picked the morning feed because he was always able to shift sort of phone calls and things around with work at that time so he could help me out. And he would take one of the boys and I would have the other and we would feed them the bottle that way. I think the first day they drank it perfectly fine and we had no problems and we were like, ta-da. This is going to be great but that did not stay that way and the second day we had we had tears we had a lot we had bottles that weren't drunk we had lots of things going on for the next week or so um we did find that the boys were so so distracted um i guess they kind of were during their breastfeeding sessions as well but more so when they were having the bottle so we would separate i would go upstairs in a room and i would be downstairs so the boys couldn't see each other that was a huge thing and we'd just be as quiet as possible no distractions no tv no noise nothing else and we just focus on the milk henry found it a lot harder than jack at the beginning to sort of latch to the bottle so one trick that i did was i'd give him the pacifier to suck on and when he was calm, I would quickly take the pacifier out and put the bottle in and he'd continue sucking and sometimes he would just straight away start drinking and wouldn't really notice and that worked. So I think I had about a week of feeding Henry like that and then he kind of got to grips with it. Um, we tried a lot of different teats because they were about five months so we tried two, number two and number three. We use Dr. Brown's bottles by the way if anyone was wondering. Um, they're now on the number three teats but at the time they were on number two and I think we did try with some number ones right at the beginning but I think they were having a hard time getting the milk out because it was so slow. Um, we did experience a lot of gas pains and spit up a lot more than we were from breastfeeding um to be honest they were going through a very fussy stage anyway around four to five months so we were already having troubles with that and it did not help i don't think but i don't know maybe any time that we had transitioned this would have been a bit of an issue um and then that first switch of the feeding at the 10 a.m 11 a.m one we did end up just doing that for two full weeks because the boys did not get a hang of it in one week so i think we did the one bottle for two weeks and then went over to two bottles and then from there out it's been every week maybe there was maybe the first month we only managed to get to two bottles a day and then the last two weeks we've yeah we've increased by one bottle so we're now four bottles and one breastfeeding session and what I will say is as we've been doing the bottle feeding we've decreased their feeds by one feed and we've also cut out the night feed that was like 2 or 3 a.m so there is a huge pro in formula bottle feeding because we have realized how much they are drinking and been able to relax a little bit more about their feet through the night and have settled to kind of go through the night without running to their beck and call and their cry and they have slept through so um, there's the pros but there are some cons um, it's very expensive formula milk there's a lot of cleaning and sanitizing and everything else that goes with those bloody bottles but also having Ali to help a bit more has been great uh, not that he's really here to help with the feedings that often, but sometimes I run into the room with a baby at 7am and like feed him and um, yeah, I'm still doing the 10pm myself, so that's not helpful yet, but um, that's that. So yeah, I'm trying to think what else I can tell you. Um, I think that's basically it, guys. If you have any questions, please ask me below. There's probably something or other that I've forgotten, but some bits of advice I would say, just take your time. Don't pressure yourself to transition quickly. If you wanna go cold turkey, I don't have any views on that. I don't know how that would be. I didn't do that myself. So um, everything that I'm saying is just my experience and my opinions. Um, so definitely check with your doctors or do your own research with things because as you know, you know your baby best and yeah, that's it really. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this one. I hope it's informative to some of you if you may be looking at doing a transition and yeah, no more breastfeeding. It seems mad. I can't believe it. I think by 
exactly the seven month mark I will have completely finished so what a whirlwind seven whole months can't believe it but yeah I will um I'll be back next time I hope you enjoyed this one and I will see you again bye